A housing market disaster is on the way as home prices continue to skyrocket and mortgage rates continue to rise, causing alarm among economists, real estate specialists, and policy officials who fear that the market will implode. The United States housing market is heated to a boiling point over the past few years, but for most of that time, real estate experts insisted that the market wasn't in a bubble. The Federal Reserve had artificially suppressed mortgage rates, keeping them in the unprecedented mid-2% range, which allowed many of those experts to argue buyers could afford the inflated prices, and as opposed to what happened in the 2007-2008 pre-crash period. Today, we have a housing shortage that has actually reached crisis proportions and resulted in many more buyers than properties for sale. So given the current conditions, this market could support the frenzy so they believed well now that mortgage rates have surged to their highest point in more than a decade. All of those experts don't seem so sure about that anymore. Many of them are actually warning that the housing market is in a massive bubble right now and that conditions are deteriorating fairly quickly. There's only so much that potential home buyers can afford before they're priced out of the market last month when rates went above the 4% mark. The number of buyers applying for mortgages dropped considerably home prices have already jumped by staggering 19.2% nationally. The breathtaking pace of home price appreciation has started to raise fears that a real estate bubble could be setting the stage for another burst which led economists with the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas to publish a note warning about the consequences of the growing U.S. housing bubble and explain that even though today's fundamentals are different than the ones that led to the previous bubble, the risks are still very real. The researchers noted that this bubble has been forming since 2012 and the acceleration in the pace of home price appreciation began before the health crisis, but has strengthened noticeably since early 2020 for prospective buyers and sellers, as well as policymakers knowing the state of housing markets is imperative, they wrote, Using a novel statistical toolkit for assessing the health of the U.S. housing market in real time, we argue that the underlying causes of the run-up differ from those during the last housing boom. When price rises are out of step with market fundamentals, inflationary expectations can cause real property prices to deviate from market fundamentals. Fear of missing out can push up prices and expectations of significant house price gains, writes a Fed analyst. They explained that this is a self-fulfilling mechanism that causes price growth to become exponential or explosive, causing investors to become cautious, policymakers to intervene, and the flow of money out of housing to dry up, causing a housing correction or even a bubble bust. According to the Fed paper, analysts advised policymakers to act before misalignments cause economic disruption. The researchers concluded that while this isn't the 2008 subprime crisis, several evidence imply that today's market is dominated by speculation. If you recall the previous housing market crash that plunged us into the financial crisis and subsequent Great Recession, you may be fearful of a real estate bubble burst happening again. It turns out that only 43.4% of renters in New York believe they'll ever own a house the survey's first reading below 50% down 10 points from last February. A separate report from Realtor.com found that rent prices have skyrocketed this year after a significant dip in February, making matters worse. According to the research, median rent in the 50 largest metros increased by 17. An increase in mortgage rates last week touched a 10-year high of 5% as Americans battled record inflation. Property ownership is becoming the most expensive generational aspiration due to rising mortgage rates, high home prices, and limited inventory. The mortgage market has continued to deteriorate recently, according to Freddie Mac's top economist. Higher rates are also generating a downturn or delay in home purchase demand as the housing market faces affordability issues and low availability. He quote wouldn't be surprised unquote if housing prices start to unwind this year considering the many supply and demand imbalances, the growing inequality gap in net household wealth and worsening work conditions in today's labor market. Most buyers don't have enough cushion to stay afloat when the real estate market breaks with wages, failing to keep pace with the rise in house prices and mortgage rates. A meaningful decline cannot be ruled out 
and even if those who swore up and down that there was nothing wrong going on in the market over the past two years are now admitting that there are serious risks of a bubble burst and we should start bracing for another disaster in the months ahead you.